Understanding localization, the map of the brain, is essential for safe surgery. And the brain is so complex that researchers are still filling in details. Today, I am going to do my bit to help. I'm feeling a bit nervous, even a little anxious, because today I'm going to take part in a rather strange experiment inside this building. There they are going to interfere with my brain in ways I'm not entirely sure I'm going to enjoy. Hello there. Michael, Hello. welcome. General guest. You're going to come and meet. Dr. Joe Devlin from University College London is using electromagnets to map the brain. It should be fun. It's comfortable. Right. On my head, presumably. Yes. Mm. Okay, so what I'll do... Ooh. Just put this. It's a good thing I can't see myself in the mirror, as I suspect this is not my finest moment. So this is the, um, the TMS device. What, the device Joe is going to use transcranial magnetic stimulation, or TMS, to interfere with my motor cortex, the bit that governs fine movements. So that we can stimulate the motor cortex. You know. It's just slightly strange, the idea that you're about to interfere with my brain. And there's a screening form to just make sure that it would be safe to proceed with the TMS. Right. Have you suffered from epilepsy, convulsions? No. The powerful magnetic field will temporarily scramble my brain cells. If they hadn't done it on themselves many times, I'm not sure I'd be volunteering. Great. I hope to see another Christmas. You bet. Right. Tip of the nose. Bridge of the nose. Right. So now we can test to see if done. Joe is calibrating his machine to images of my brain. This will allow him to pinpoint the area responsible for hand movements, and then he'll put me through some tests. That's very cool, I have to say. That is very, very cool. Yeah. I like that. So, um, okay, so I write, writing is easy. Ready? Yeah, I'm just going on writing. Oh, that is weird. So the fine motor control that's really critical in writing, of course. It's completely impossible when you do that. It's completely impossible. It's very, very odd when you lose voluntary control like that. Yeah. Absolutely. I think you have another test for me. I face this with some trepidation now. Right, right this is normally quite an easy action. I just go there. Ah. Yep. Terrific. How difficult can it be? You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Right, I <laughs> think. That's is quite difficult, isn't it? Bring on the next test. Um, so if you want to go ahead and start doing some finger okay, touches touch again. Okay, touch my nose. I can keep this up, Raz. Excellent. Okay. Yep, so just keep going. <laughs> it's pretty dramatic. It's quite dramatic. It? I was in serious danger of poking my eye at that moment. I thought, exactly. I thought I had... Yes. It's very, very odd. You don't do it again. Sure. Just this, I'm, I just find it very hard to believe. This time, this time, man against machine. TMS works by interrupting the signals going from my brain to my hand. <laughs> it only works if it's applied precisely to the area of the motor cortex that controls hand movement. <laughs> A centimeter left or right, and there'd be no effect. <laughs> Blimey. The intense magnetic field swamps neural pathways in the motor cortex, making me lose control. It's almost like a stroke, only this is temporary. There you go. That was complete lack of control. It's very strange. Right, no, this is... I can go back. I can write. Writing is jolly easy. Yeah, no. Fine. Exactly. It's back. Completely it was off. Back. It's gone. Wow, that was strange. And what it demonstrates very, very clearly is that you can control a very, very small part of the brain, the rest of me is absolutely fine. And then... Right, and the effect stops as soon as the magnetic field stops. Absolutely. Yeah. So this is localization in action. Precisely. The information that Joe and his colleagues collect is creating an ever more detailed map of the brain. And that map is of crucial importance to surgeons and patients in the operating theatre.